is it going everyone my name is silver welcome back to the channel and today guys i'm joined with the one the only the mr cosmo himself oh i'm sorry that's my cue uh <laughs> hi it's black moon dragon oh all right yes it's black moon dragon and today guys we are here to um play around with premium i just realized that i was super scared that i didn't have a g zone for a second Whew, now that the heart attack's over, that's right guys, we're here to record some videos of premium deck profiles. I have two that I've released currently on my channel, and I think we might be doing something for Black Moon, right, buddy? Over uh, the maybe down the future, um, I'm kind of burnt out on doing deck profiles, but I will probably start putting out some uh, premium stuff in a bit, depending on whether or not Bushiro decides to release any big news that demands my attention. Yeah, so he does deck profiles as well. Um, I was maybe referring to maybe a fight after this on your channel. Maybe they could go check out a potential fight on your channel. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll I'll see I'll see how I feel after this one. So guys, potentially there might be a fight over there. They, sometimes this takes really long, as you guys can tell by our intro. So, overall, quick, gonna do run-of-the-mill stuff. Go check him out. He's always down in the description below. Just like all my other friends, they're awesome. Please go subscribe to them if you're new. And subscribe to me if you're new. Honestly, guys, um, YouTube just hates its small creators these days, so I really gotta shell out. And if you want my notifications, please hit the bell icon. I'm trying to get back into a regular every other day or bi-daily schedule. That means the same thing I just thought of. I'm trying to shoot for every day or every two days on my channel because honestly it's just super hard and I work two jobs so we're going to quickly decide who goes first before we draw our hands and reveal anything so I'm going to flip a coin black moon you call heads or tails tails it lands on tails he gets first turn which makes me really sad for this line away you have first turn Okay, yeah, that's an okay card. Let's see, that doesn't do anything for me right now. Let's see. Mm, that might come in handy later. Okay. Ride bar, forerunner of data. Oh, that's right, you're running the forerunner. You know, I'm actually thinking of getting rid of my forerunner stuff. Because I just read. Yeah, sorry. I was going to say that now that Kagero has some early retires again, I'm thinking, wait a minute, G-restricted forerunners aren't good anymore. Yeah. <laughs> aren't yeah, as good. A lot of people are removing Gatlin Claw from their deck as well, because a lot of people are running the uh, new forerunners. All right. Um, we are going to just go right into the ride phase and straight to battle. Attack for eight. No guard. Drive check. Heal trigger. All effects to the vanguard. And you can't heal. Nope. I end turn. Okay. But now I have a heal trigger in hand. What are you going to do? I am going to ride to grade two. Oh, snap. That's um, scary. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, no guard. All right. My stride fodder. Because I do stride in this deck damage check is a grade one all right guys so i did do this deck profile on my channel if you guys want to check it out i forgot to draw for um my last card when i rode i completely forgot that was a mechanic in this game with me i had to be careful not to with data because i was like okay remember data's forerunner it doesn't let you draw so technically that heal trigger should have been my draw but we're gonna sk skip over the fact it probably won't matter too much in the long run i'll s draw for turn honestly at this point i don't see any other point of not running um just riding this right now i ride a uh, high-powered razor Gotcha. And, um, hmm. You can call Battle Razor from Soul. I know, I'm debating. Uh, just You're afraid I'm going to retire Battle Razor? Uh, there's not a lot of guards you have at this stage right now that could, if any at all. I'm just debating. I have a couple cards in hand. And 
actually, I think they're all, yeah, I think I will call Battle Razor, um, mm, oh, okay, actually, I won't call Battle Razor, instead, I'm going to open up the field to a rush form assault, there we go, alright, yeah, I mean, I probably should have called Battle Razor, but I don't care. We'll, we'll go into the rush form of this. So, moving along into the battle. Um, no, let's just apply the, apply the pressure now. My Vanguard will attack yours for nine. No guard. All right, drive check. No trigger. Alrighty. Um... Rear guard razor, uh, high powered razor custom will attack for nine. And then jet razor will boost high powered razor custom for another attack. Ah, oh, dang, I needed that. Alrighty, I will activate um, jet razor skill, counter blast one, put this to soul. When an attack hits during the battle, if this boosted a Nova grappler, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your rear guards with Razor in its name and stand it. So, I will choose the one that just attacked, and I will attack you for nine more. Hmm. Do, you, do I really want to pitch any of this? <laughs> do you take it at this point? Well, that's the thing. It's like, okay, well, that is that really going to help me? Okay, you know what? This won't, so. All right. I end turn with a 1 to 4 ratio of damage. Which might be your undoing here in just a sec. Well, I mean, the worst thing you could do is retire my two Razor's rear guards, and honestly, I'm not too worried about that. Let's see. Playing an offensive style has its advantages, in all honesty. It does. Uh, let's see what you got here. Hmm. Um, next turn will be interesting. Ooh, you're powering up by 10k. Yep. Let's see, do I have anything else I can call? What will Black Moon do? Will he empty his hand for the call? Or I'm not going to. I need to guard. Or will he wait a turn or two? 38 to my vanguard with a restand potential. Huh. Yes, what'll you what'll you do? So actually, if he wants to restand, he has to pitch two. And the worst he could do is drive try check two criticals here. And let's be honest, if he even checks two criticals, it's only gonna give me more power. I think the hmm. I mean, of course, you need damage to, um... Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll no-guard that. I'll take the hit. Okay. First check, heal trigger. Second check. All right. So, he dealt me one damage. Damage check, no trigger. Not that... Okay. So, are you going to use Overlord's skill? Of course I am. So first of all, I am going to counterblast, discard two cards. I discard one. Uh, what, should, what should I do for the other? I need that to stride. Yeah, uh, get rid of that uh, heal trigger. Yeah. Uh, did you get rid of two um, stand triggers? Two stands. All right. I restand Dragonic Overlord, and I attack again. Um. Even with two criticals at this point, he still can't finish me off, so I'm going to say no guard. I'm going to hold on to my hand. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Is that good, though? Like, I mean, I guess it's good, but is it really Dude, good? I can retire on stride. I know. All right. My turn? Oh, wait. Yep. Finish. Um, That goes to that zone. Okay. So Now we're tied up for damage. I stand and I draw. 
I think it's funny how it went from a one to four spread to a three to three even tie. Yeah, that's true. All right. Um. Darn, I'm sort of stuck here. Um, I'm gonna have to G assist, so you're gonna. Get okay, time to study his hand. Let's see. It's got one PG, one heal trigger. All things he's gonna forget. Critical trigger. Soon. Wow. My deck Two is... great ones. And then a draw, a heal, and a crit. So one of each one of each trigger sans frontal trigger. Alright, shuffle deck, and then I add my cards back to hand. And just in case he somehow is running a card that could snipe cards from my hand. I'm not. I have to be careful. I have to shuffle up my hand a bit. Well, being I didn't get a single grade 3 or grade or anything for that matter, I gotta play the um pressure game. Okay. So, battle phase. Vanguard attacks for 9. I don't know how your, or your vanguard should be... um. Oh yeah, let me. I forgot to undo the power. Uh, nine one to pass right now. No guard. Drive check. No trigger. But you got what you needed. That I did. Let's see if I can survive the turn to get there. Okay. Um, I believe you have one more attack that you can do. Yeah, I do. Sixteen to van. Oh no! I'm gonna take a hit. Not. Hey, it's all about those calls. If you if you took the hit now, you might have been able to save yourself in the future. But never know. I have to end turn there. Yeah, I kind of want to keep my options open here. So draw. Okay. So let's see. Honestly, seeing the cards I got, there was no that extra draw. All it would have done was plus my hand size by one, which wouldn't have really helped. Okay. Can I ask you a question? What are the new rules about stride again? Um, I don't remember. You don't remember. Okay, I'm going to look. Because <laughs> I think they changed the way stride works or something that they don't have to both be at grade three or something. Maybe. It depends. Um, here, we're going to take a quick cut we'll be back once we figure it out okay all right guys we're back we figured out the ruling um so... technically i think i can stride but i decided that i really want this uh gift marker instead yeah so he can stride um we're not entirely sure because there's a lot of cards with specific ru ruling about beginning of the turn and we're not sure if riding would re technically reset at the beginning of turn because it's a new grade three so he Black Moon made the decision to not stride this turn. It was up to him. Yeah, so let's see. This time I don't think I'm gonna activate Dragonic Overlord's ten K skill because I know that you have a perfect garden hand now. Yeah. So thirty eight K to Van. Uh yeah, you you saw this coming from a mile away. Yep. I was PGing that super hard. Okay, twin drive. So first check, something that you might want to be concerned about. Eh, uh, there's anything in the column, so there's nothing I can worry about there. Yeah. And then second check, definitely something you need to be worried about. Nah. nah. Dude, you know I have Ziegenberg in this deck, right? I'm... <laughs> yeah. 20k to Ziegenberg, and it can re-stand. Yeah, that's scary. All right. Um, I guess that makes it my turn. Yeah. Standal and draw. All right, so... I also have Novell Vague in here. So if I get you to five damage, and I have two force markers on it... I'm going to ride Razor. And then... Hmm. I think I just need the sheer amount of attack power at this point, don't I? Probably. 
Yeah. I'm going to call to the gift zone or the Excel zone my trans razor. And from there, I'm going to enter my battle phase. And we will attack with trans razor to your vanguard. I will take that attack. Critical trigger. All right. All effects to van. At this point, is there even a point attacking any of my remaining rear guards? Let's see. Custom gets what? 16. I can't even poke you. Front row and stand them. You still have a twin drive. Yeah. I was just trying to get the most out of my perfect razor. Um, yeah, I guess I'll attack your vanguard and hope for the front, the two triggers. Mm hmm. That's really what I need to hope for. Right now it's two to pass. And for any of my, I need a front trigger here. I think front trigger will work out best for me. All right. Let's so see what. Pass. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one. Okay. That I'll need later. That I'll need later. That I'll. Um, hmm. Just so, Darn it. Just so we're clear, I'm also gonna kind of blast two and restand Trans Razor. Okay. Because he's in the front row, technically. I guess I'm gonna discard the bar that I drew earlier. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so no pass. Um. Twin drive first. Nothing. Come on. Give me a front trigger. Heal trigger. I can't heal, but I could definitely give power somewhere. Um, Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out which of your units would benefit from it. That can only do 16, so that would work. Uh, that the, would... There's only well, there's only one of your units that will have enough power any regardless, so... Yeah, I don't think I can gain any power. Razors are not good for um, premium format, I will say that right now. 28 to your vanguard, and you pro you probably have the potential to guard this. Yeah, I do. <sighs> Darn it. I'm really, really sad about that. Okay, I gotta end turn there. There's... Darn, that critical trigger just came way too early for me. Hmm. Hmm, and do I have anything in here that's worth using on... Okay, I ride Dragonic Blade Master Cohen. All right. Um. Ha! Huh, darn. Let's see. What do I want to do? Oh yeah, I definitely want to stride because I need to start adding cards. Wait, did it not uh, give you the power bonus for? Oh wait, no, you're you you um you rode. I haven't strided yet. Yeah, I'm. I'm Let's see. That's GB three. That's GB3, that's GB3, that's GB3, that's GB2, that's GB3, that's GB3. <laughs> okay, so this is the only thing I can stride into. Oh yeah, that's... Um, that's always the, uh, that's normally the first stride for most Kagero decks anyways. Yeah. Silly, why didn't you Drachma? Because I don't run Drachma in this deck. Um, I just realized that Zero Dragons need to have um, three units face up in your D zone. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Counter less. Um, Win this, Blazing. Let's see. You have one, two, three, four. Man. Oh, wait a minute. I could also... That's since I just strode, I'm going to Counter Blast with Cohen's skill. And... Um, I get to retire one of your rear guards. I am going to retire. I dismal. <laughs> I protect my rear. Let's see. You're gonna call something to that rear guard to that Excel circle, no matter what. So, yep. I think I'm gonna get rid of this card right here. That's probably the smarter retire, honestly. Let's see. Now I can't really blaze, to be honest, because nope. not without emptying your hand. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Emptying your hand and you still have to burn one other rear guard out of the way. But then again, hmm, I don't really want to. Okay, I decided I don't want to use that counter blast up, so. Um, so did you not retire? I. Or are you? What? 
I retired your rear guard already. Okay. You, you said you decided not to use that counter blast up, so I was just being. I mean, for my stride. Oh, okay. I wanted. To I ready. used a counter blast for Cohen. I'm not going to use the counter blast for my stride. Let's. Let me just look ahead. Let's see. That's GB two. I'll be able to use it. That will be. Um. Oh wait. That'll be GB three, but I should be able to use it next turn anyway. Because of G guarding. Hmm. We're in our pickles. Yeah, yeah, we're in pickle territory right here. We're, we're in pickle land. Editing the oh, wait, no, I'll be able to GB3 no matter what next turn. Okay. Well, okay, so that. Uh, nothing. It's stuff no, going on on my there, end. There's two heal triggers in your hand. I know what you got. Um, One heal trigger. I only pulled one heal trigger so far. Let's see. So 51k to van. Is there anything I can do about that? The power creep is real. Um, huh. Let's see. I believe you still have a heal in hand. You still have a critical trigger in hand. Yep, I'm trying to think of my current powder. Powder? Powder? Power. Um, I'm illiterate. Leave me alone. Um... That's okay, I, I figured. I'm dyslexic. Illiterate means I can't read. Well. Um, yeah. Let's see. I He's bad with it. words, too. Yep. So we do that. That makes it that number. If I do this... And bear in mind, I have triple drive. Wait, what am I doing? I can, I can do this. I'm going to pitch one from hand to... Um, he, his skill isn't on hit right now. Um, when no. Me. So, what we're gonna do... Oh, that's right, you're getting a triple drive. I forgot about that. Um, we're gonna activate this guy to start off with. Um, by using his skill, I can counter charge two when I have no face-up cards in my damage zone. And I don't think there's a specific number, and he gets a 5k shield bonus. Okay, so, so that's one, 20k. Two. So that's a 20k shield. That's basically a G guard at this point. Um, let's see, what do you do? You're no help, and you are currently no help, and you're no help. So at this point, I'm just going to throw down another... One. So that would make it one to pass right now. And if I throw Shining down, that makes it a total of, I think, three to pass, because I'm up at 67, right? 67, two to pass. Okay, hold on. Let me, let's see. That's 40, uh, 55. Yeah, 67. So, so let's see. Heal triggers my first check, and I'm going to heal that card. You need two more triggers to pass, so it's three to pass if you don't get two of those, right? Okay, so if I get, like, one trigger... If you let's see, what did you say yours was at 67? So you need a 10k trigger to pass this hit. Well, I only run four of those in the deck, so I think you're safe. All right. And you are. Yeah. But now I have two heal triggers in hand. So now you can G guard twice. Denial Griffin. All right. Denial Griffin. Um, I dismal in the middle of my turn. <laughs> Is that against the rules? Actually, is there any stating that I can't G guard during my turn? Uh, yeah, you three? can't guard during your turn. Only during opponent's the turn. Does official rules actually say that? I'm gonna have to check that out. That might be. I guarantee you, people would be doing it if they could. <laughs> That might be a new medal. Dismal! <laughs> oh. In the middle of my turn, I dismal on top of your denial of Griffin. What? I activate a stack. Okay, I stand and draw. Um, oof. Do I have... How many cards are in my drop zone right now? Um, ooh. Ooh. Do I guild force? Does this give me any benefits? Um, let's see, do that. When that happens, I don't get that. Um, if, um, who's, 
then nope. So I don't get any of that. Let's see. What do I have here? Okay, so that's four triggery. Plays up in here. GB8. I GB8 you. Um. Darn. Uh, let's see. You are. I could do that, and I think I could do that, right? Choose that. Turn it face up. Da -da -da -da. Nope. I can't do you. It's nothing beneficial. And this. If you do choose the same number of those as those, if those, okay, then it's going to use counter blast one, choose that, and do that. All right, um, hmm, I think I'm going to go with my best play because I think most of my G zone is a GB3 setup or GB2. Choose that. No, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah. All right. So from hand, I'm going to pitch my okay. ultimate razor mega flare. Gotcha. And go into Meteor Kaiser Buster. Like I said, gotcha. best play possible. And then I'm going to call a ultimate uh, razor dual flare. And it's skill during your turn. Yeah, my Vanguard didn't perform Legion this turn. So your skill is when this unit attacks, I may pay the cost. If I do, I choose the same number of rear guards as face up to him. So I should at least attack with one unit. And I'll get to restand one, right? Because I don't get to, I didn't flip anything else. And then stand them with two more units. Stand. And I have five rear guards. Ah, okay, so battle phase. I'm going to attack with my transraiser, and I need to enter battle phase to your vanguard for 18. 18, huh? Yep, 18 smackaroos. Let's see if you you choose restand them. Okay, well, I really don't want you to uh, have restand target, so I'm just going to denial Griffin that. Oh, you're denial. Uh, when this is placed on Jari, I pay the gossip. Do choose one of your opponents attacking rear guards retire it. Oh, well, never mind. Why does denial Griffin even have shield power? Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's a unit out there that can negate skills on guardian circles. Who knows? I mean, I guess if you don't have the counter blast for it, um. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm just going to attack with this column then. The yeah, I saw the denial Griffin coming. But that eats up your counter blast, so. Yeah, but you still have two more attacks to go through. That's true. This is very true, and there's nothing stating I can't stand my uh, back row unit. There is nothing that says you can't. It's just you won't be able to attack me with it. New skill from Buster. Buster Extreme counts as a Buster. When it stands, I can move a unit to the front row and smack you for infinite damage. Um, okay, do your worst. So Buster will attack. I'll use his skill to counterblast one and choose a unit in my G zone and turn it face up. Obviously, I'm going to choose a Buster. Turn that face up. Stand this unit. I get no benefits from that, but... It's still 27 to your face. No guard. You cannot denial Griffin him. Triple drive check. Please give me front triggers. First, nothing. Second, critical. Critical to Buster. Power to custom. And the third check. No trigger. Let's see. First check is a critical trigger. Second check is a stand trigger. I, I give. What the heck? Really? Is there... Buster doesn't give power? Nope. No. Oh, I just realized if I really wanted to, I I could have activated my Tara skill earlier to counter charge. Oh yeah, you could have. Uh. Well darn. That's, that means both of us have misplayed this game. I end turn. Um, you should be resting, and darn, I'm just... This is really just poke for poke at this point. Yes, but I'm going to poke real hard this time around. I mean, I still have heal triggers? 
And, uh, oh, does he restand? Yes, he does. Okay. So let's see. First, I'm going to activate Cohen's skill. Um, so I counterblast, and I retire this guy. OK, hold on. I need to exit this menu. I retire him. All right. OK. And then... Next, I activate the skill of Ziggenberg, and I retire your one remaining rear guard. Sweet, I'm at GB5 now. Let's see, do I even bother calling at this point? Um, I mean, I do get two attacks at 46k each. And don't you, lo you lose twin drive, so you have the potential to end me here if you get criticals. But if you don't, then I continue off with two damage and into my turn. Okay, I'm going to risk it right here. Um, Let's see. Let's see, I'm going to get four you new know, cards in hand. Yep. Well, don't you have... No, you don't have to risk card. Yeah, so you're going to get a total of four cards in hand this turn. So, I just have to hope you don't get criticals, and I'm I'm good. Okay, so first awesome. attack is going to be at your Vanguard at 51,000 power. I can't guard that, so no guard. Okay, so triple drive check. First check, no trigger. Second check, no trigger. Third check, no trigger. All right, so damage check is a critical trigger. All effects to my Vanguard. Now, okay. so as long as you don't get a critical on the top of your deck. Counterblast, re-stand, 46,000 to Vanguard. No guard, I still can't stop the attack, even if I had something in hand to guard with. So... I only get one drive check this time around. Whew. It's not a trigger. Oh my god, that was way, way too scary for my health. Okay, by the way, the Generation Break 2 skill of Dragonic Blade Master Cohen activates. So from here, what I can do is... Yeah. Since you have no rear guards, I can add one of my uh, grade three blaze units back to my hand. Alrighty. So makes it my turn. Stand and do it all. I think it's funny. I haven't run into a single. Actually, that's not true. I did have one critical trigger earlier on. Um... That means there's three more lurking in the deck here. You don't have any way to denial Griffin me. Oh, I do have a heal trigger. It just yeah. depends. Oh, wait, that's right. I used all my counter, my counter blasts. Oh, this is such a risque move, and you have a lot of cards in hand, but it's to shorten your hand as much as possible. I call. Ooh. Battle phase. I attack your vanguard for 19. 19, that means I only need 1k to stop it. Yep. That stopped. All right. Um, going on to the second battle of the turn, Cool Hank attacks you for 14. His skill activates. I can counterblast one, choose a unit in my front choose a rear guard, stand it, and give it 5k until end of turn. Okay, I only need Why a 5... Did I not modif okay, I guess I didn't click that, so... There's that. Hold on, I'm thinking here, let's see. Yep, take your time. Okay, so this will stop that attack. Alright. 24 to your vanguard. Okay. That stops the attack. All right. My custom, or my perfect, will attack you. His skill, counterblast two. That's countercharging. Counterblast two, stand two rear guards in the front row. And if he hits, I choose a razor unit, and I give it 5k until end of turn. Hmm. I'm going for the win here. Your hand is slowly decreasing, and I think if I get a front trigger, or any trigger for that matter, I don't think you might 
if I remember your hand correctly, I don't think you can guard a critical trigger here. I'm going to take a risk and guard with just this. Oh, so what? It's one to pass? Yep, one to pass. All right, guys. This is what it comes down to. Any trigger will hit him. Twin okay, go. First. Yes, heal trigger. Power to my vanguard, and I can heal one. Um, I'm going to heal the critical. And the second check is no trigger, but that's okay. He needs a heal to survive the turn. And yes, I didn't get one. I win with razors. Razors, come back. <laughs> yeah, so what would have happened, I was going to G-guard your uh, dual flare. Yeah. Um, and then next turn, I was going to stride into uh, Ziggenberg. Oh, yeah. I would have also used Terra to countercharge. Next turn, I would have strided into Ziggenberg, used Cohen's skill to retire dual flare. Ziggenberg's, uh, Ziggenberg's skill would have um, would have then retired Cool Hank. Um, and then after that, I would have gotten two more attacks. So wait, did you have any heal triggers left? I only have, let's see, I think I had one. Was that enough to even save yeah. you this turn? Cause if you no, because I still had to guard against Dual Flare. Yeah, wait, so if you had successfully guarded Perfect Razor, I would have given the 10k power to Cool Hank to provide pressure. So you would have had to deal with both my uh, rear guards still. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. If and No matter what, any trigger you got would have won you the game. Because I only had two units to guard with after that, and I was and I was counting on on my grade two stopping you. Maybe if I would have kept Nadell in hand or something, maybe it would have been a little bit different. But so guys, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, you can roast me. Please don't roast Black Moon. I mean, I know I'm not going to be able to stop you, and you probably will roast Black Moon, but. Provide some constructive criticism for either of our decks. Tell us what you liked or disliked. Um, and let me know if you want to see Black Moon's deck profile. If he doesn't want to show it on his channel, maybe I'll show it on mine. But I will be showing it on my channel. Okay, so he will be. So if you want to see what the rest of the scope of his deck is, go check him out. And I think that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace. So I'm debating.